Join me as I dive into the world of the trilobite beetle and see if I can keep one as a pet for a whole week. You know, there are some insects out there that are just so cool, yet so unknown to the general public. And today, I want to talk about one of the coolest insects you've probably never heard of, the trilobite beetle. I think one of the main reasons why trilobite beetles are so underappreciated is because people tend to misunderstand them. A lot of people think they're just some weird, ancient-looking beetle. But in reality, they're so much more than that. They're actually quite fascinating creatures that have been around for millions of years. Another misconception about trilobite beetles is that they're rare or hard to find. While it's true that they're not as common as some other beetle species, they can actually be found in many parts of the world, from Asia to Africa to North America. And yet, despite their relatively wide distribution, they're still largely unknown to the general public. I think part of the problem is that trilobite beetles don't really fit into our traditional notion of what a beetle should look like. They're not shiny and round like ladybugs, nor are they big and loud like stag beetles. Instead, they're often dull-colored and have this weird, armored appearance that can be a bit off-putting to some people. But the truth is, trilobite beetles are exactly what make the insect world so amazing. They're a testament to the incredible diversity of life on our planet and a reminder that there's still so much we don't know about the natural world. So what makes trilobite beetles so remarkable? For starters, they have this incredible three-part armor plating on their backs that's reminiscent of the ancient trilobite fossils that give them their name. This armor plating is made up of tough, hardened plates that protect them from predators and are also incredibly flexible, allowing them to move freely. Trilobite beetles can be found in a variety of habitats, from forests to grasslands, and are often attracted to areas with high humidity and low oxygen levels. They're also primarily nocturnal, which means they're most active at night and have a unique way of communicating with each other through a series of clicks and chirps. One of the most fascinating things about trilobite beetles, though, is their unique mating rituals. During courtship, the males will perform a complex dance, vibrating their bodies and clicking their armored plates to attract females. It's an incredible display of complexity and beauty and a testament to the intricate social behaviors that exist in the insect world. But trilobite beetles aren't just interesting because of their mating rituals. They also have some pretty cool defense mechanisms. For example, when threatened, they can release a foul-smelling fluid from their bodies to deter predators. It's a pretty effective defense strategy, and one that's evolved over millions of years to help them survive in a world filled with danger. In addition to their unique mating rituals and defense mechanisms, trilobite beetles also have some pretty specialized feeding habits. They're primarily detritivores, which means they feed on decaying plant and animal matter. This makes them an important part of their ecosystems, helping to break down organic matter and recycle nutrients. So, what can we take away from the amazing world of trilobite beetles? For starters, they're a reminder of just how much diversity and complexity exists in the natural world. They're also a testament to the incredible adaptability of insects, and a reminder that even the most unlikely creatures can be fascinating and beautiful in their own way. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of trilobite beetles. If you've got any thoughts or questions about these amazing insects, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about fascinating insect species, be sure to check out some of my other videos.